All right, so for today, I'm changing up how we do our notes. The notes today are this blue foldable sheet. So you can fold this sheet in half so that the words absolute value equations is the front page of that little booklet you're going to make. There's no cutting needed for this foldable. So we're going to talk about how to solve absolute value equations. A really quick thing about absolute values, if I'm evaluating this expression, the absolute value of 2x, 4x equals, I'll say 3, the other x equals negative 4. To evaluate an absolute value expression, to evaluate for x equals 3, it would be absolute value of 2 times 3, which is the absolute value of 6, which is just 6. Okay, Absolute value evaluated for negative 4, this expression, 2 times negative 4, which would be the absolute value of negative 8, which is 8. So what I want us to understand is that absolute value means a number's distance from 0, right? So with this equation, absolute value of x equals 3, what it's asking is what numbers are, have a distance from 0 of 3? So the two numbers that do that are negative 3 and positive 3. So when I'm looking at the graphing of these equations, it's up to you on how you want to make your number line. But it's just understanding if I have 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, I'm just graphing two solid circles at those two points to solve an absolute value equation. Okay, so to move ahead, maybe take a minute and pause the video and see if you can solve two. I'll go through this one actually. I'll have you do um, absolute value of x equals 7 on your own. So for this equation, numbers that are 2 away from 0, negative 2, positive 2. So to graph this, Solid circle at negative 2, solid circle at positive 2. So hopefully by now you've picked up a little bit of the pattern. Go through, Try to go through this one on your own. Pause the video, resume it when you're ready to move on to the next examples. So pretty simple. x is negative 7, x is positive 7. Close circles at both those points. Going to the inside of this sheet, what I want us to understand is when we solve absolute value equations, we always write two separate equations to find the two separate solutions as far as the solutions we find today. So the way I'd set up absolute value of x minus 1 equals 2, I would have x minus 1 equals negative 2, x minus 1 equals positive 2. So to solve this equation, I would add one to both sides. X could be negative 1. X could be 3. So I have points at one, negative 1 and positive 3. So for today, just remember, you're going to have two sets of solutions or two solutions. You're going to have your expression in the absolute value set equal to the negative number it's set equal to and the positive number it's set equal to. So the same thing applies for the next example. The way I would set this up, I have an equation of x plus 3 equals negative 10, x plus 3 equals positive 10. To solve the left-hand side, subtract 3 from both sides, x is negative 13. The right-hand side, Subtract 3 from both sides, x is 7. So it's up to you on how you want to graph these. I'm just going to go by 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. So I'll graph 7 right here. For negative 13, negative 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Now 
graph 13 right in between the two. Okay, so this last example on this page, I would like you to solve and graph on your own. Once you're ready, I'll pause the video first. Once you're ready, resume the video. And we'll go through the last few examples. Okay, so for this example, I got negative 2 and 26 as my solutions. I'll admit I got a little lazy here and I didn't write all the numbers. When you do your number lines, for these types of equations, it's just to realize that there are exactly two solutions for these types of equations, the ones we covered today. So I've got one more example to show you. And for these examples, I'm going to ask you to do something called isolate the absolute value. So what these, this means is before I set up my two equations, I've got to isolate just this part of the absolute value. So the way I would isolate this absolute value, one step. Subtract 3 from both sides. Absolute value of x minus 2 is 2. So I'm going to have x minus 2 is negative 2. x minus 2 is positive 2. Add 2 to both sides. x can be 0. x can be 4. So for my points, if I want, this one doesn't take much to write. 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are my two solutions. So isolating the absolute value means before I set up my two equations, I get the absolute value by itself on one side of the equation. So I've got one more example here. For this example, I've got to isolate this part of the equation. The way I would do that before I set up my two equations, sorry, add 3 to both sides, absolute value of 2x minus 1 equals 5. So the way I set this up, 2x minus 1 equals negative 5. 2x minus 1 equals positive 5. So I, on the left, I would add 1 to both sides. 2x equals negative 4. x equals negative 2. Other side, still add 1 to both sides. 2x equals 6. Divide by 2. x is 3. So we're still solving, right? We're still using, we're still isolating a variable but it's understanding with absolute value for the equations we're doing, you need to set your two equations up and solve each of them individually. So my solutions for this equation are negative two, positive three. So what you're gonna do next is work on the practice for the practice, you are just working through the odds, okay, before you do the checkpoint. So now, practice, checkpoint, study hall, if you have extra time. Next time, we'll go through absolute value inequalities. Next week, we will have our quiz. So if you have any questions, email me. I'll be ready to respond. If you feel like I made any mistakes, like the last notes, I think I did okay, but don't be afraid to speak up.